Marlene Hutchinson, and welcome to Tips for Guitar Playing Success. As many of you know, I've been sharing my guitar playing tips every Thursday for more than nine years. It's been my way to hopefully help you stay motivated, be inspired, and continue expanding your guitar playing journey. If you're interested in more learning resources like my Thursday Tips blog, my DVDs, books, virtual learning, and more, go to my website, marlenesmusic.com. And for anyone who's feeling like you're missing out on all the fun, you can easily join our wonderful world of guitar with my Learn to Play Guitar in a Day program at marlenesmusic.com. Subscribe, follow, and invite your friends to Tips for Guitar Playing Success. Now, on to today's tip. Today's tip is Guitar Gratitude and Sharing the Guitar Love. Today is Thanksgiving Day in the United States. It's a day of gratitude and thankfulness. It's a time to gather with family and friends, to eat a bounty of yummy food, and I hope for you that it's a day to play and share your beautiful guitar music. Thanksgiving isn't just for the United States, and since I have listeners from all over the world, I did a little research and discovered that it's a national holiday celebrated on various dates in several countries, including the United States, Canada, Germany, the United Kingdom, Japan, Australia, the Netherlands, Philippines, Brazil, Grenada, Liberia, Rwanda, and St. Lucia. The holiday title may be different, but the essence of the celebrations are to give thanks for the blessings of the harvest and the preceding year. Today, I find myself reflecting on and leaning into my blessings, especially the many blessings guitar has brought to my life. In this episode, I'll share some of my guitar gratitude. As I'm sharing mine, perhaps you can think of your own guitar gratitude list. I would even suggest that you grab a pen and a piece of paper, because writing it down is a powerful and uplifting feeling. So what is my guitar gratitude? I am so grateful that I learned to play guitar. I have so much fun making my own music and singing with it, too. I love to play guitar with family and friends, I love to perform, and I love to jam with my guitar playing buddies. I'm also grateful for the wonderful people I've had the privilege and honor to meet, work with, and teach along my guitar journey. That includes every student I've ever taught, every person who's been inspired by my shows and clinics, industry people who shared my guitar passion and support my efforts to help people learn to play guitar. It's led me to where I am today in my guitar sharing journey. I'm grateful for my guitar, the wonderful wood instrument that brings me so much joy that in fact, I've even named my guitar Joy. This is kind of a funny thing to share, too. Each and every time I pick up my guitar to play it, I smell the inside of the guitar through the sound hole. I just love the scent of the wood. It's an organic reminder of the origins of my instrument, which ultimately is the forests. I'm grateful for all the podcast show supporters, both followers and podcast club members. And for those of you who didn't know, I'm giving away a $50 Guitar Center gift card when you join my podcast club. So you can check out the green link in the show notes that says join the club. And who knows, maybe you'll win that $50 Guitar Center gift card. Now, I could go on and on with my own guitar gratitude because I find there's an abundance of guitar thankfulness, but enough about mine. It's time for you to focus on your own guitar gratitude list. 
So go ahead and grab that pen and paper and jot down whatever comes to mind about your guitar playing. If you're not sure where to start, ask yourself a few of these questions. When I'm playing guitar, how do I feel? When I hear or am thinking about a song and want to try playing it on my guitar, how do I feel? What comes to mind when I open my guitar case? How do I describe or tell people about playing guitar? What songs do I enjoy playing the most? Hopefully these prompts will help you to create your list. Lastly, thank you for listening to and supporting my Tips for Guitar Playing Success podcast show. It's because of listeners like you that I'm motivated and excited to share my guitar knowledge, insights, tips, and experiences. Alrighty, well now it's time for me to get back to basting the turkey, which naturally includes guitar playing between bastings. And I suggest you play too. If not between bastings, then perhaps as your family and friends are arriving, or maybe during dessert. It's a great way to share the guitar love. Happy Thanksgiving! Don't forget to join the podcast club for a chance to win a $50 Guitar Center gift card. I hope this episode's tip has helped you to continue expanding your guitar playing skills and knowledge. If you'd like to learn more, please check out the many learning resources available at marlenesmusic.com. Thank you for joining today's podcast. And as I like to say... Play on.